I'm going to compare two 80 pound bows. One is the MR5. This is um, a 360 IBO bow for Matthews. And the wake, which is around 353 or 50 foot IBO, um, again, 80 pounds. This one, I believe, is. The MR5 is at 29 inch draw length and 80 pounds, while the wake is at 28 and a half inches at 80 pounds. Now that half an inch probably would make a difference on speed, maybe by about five feet per second. But I think the speed differences is mostly still due to a little bit faster IBO for the um, MR5. Matthews. 80 pound MR5, and again, this is at 29 inches um, with the modules that are on there now. Five inch brace height, both of them are five inch brace heights, I believe. It's a really short brace height. Yeah, pretty stiff. We had 269. I'm going to shoot another one through just because I felt like I kind of uh, I came down a little bit out of the valley. We'll pause it and we'll shoot the um, smooth, um, pretty decent valley. Got 272, so that's some really decent speed out of it. That's what I kind of more expected. I held in the valley a little better on that one. Let me go ahead and pause it and we'll shoot the wake through. Here's the wake. I think the valley on this is a little bit solid, more solid and easier, definitely an easier drawing bow. Let's see, we'll pull it back. Harder valley for sure, easier to hold into. A little bit shorter. Got 260. So it's about 10 feet per second slower. Some of that is probably attributed to the smaller. Um, I mean, being half, half an inch shorter. Inch shorter brace height probably counts for about 5 feet per second difference. That's a whole 10 feet per second. Now we've got 256. So we're getting 260 out of that one. So definitely the MR5 was shooting faster at 80 pounds. Now we're going to try the Safari in the next video. Take care. Bye.